friends. Welcome to my channel The Spice Gasm. Today we are going to make tuna fish cutlets. Tuna cutlets are the perfect snack to enjoy in the evening with your family, especially the kids. Not only are they healthy and delicious, but they are also crispy and make for a great appetizer. If you're feeling extra creative, you can even place the cutlets in a bun for a tasty tuna burger. This is a recipe that uses canned tuna fish and veggies to make cutlets that are shallow fried. Tuna cutlets are definitely my favorite anytime, mainly due to the ease of making it, as well as the delicious taste any time of the day. We will need about 3 potatoes for this. Let's start by peeling off all the potatoes. For this recipe, I prefer to peel the potatoes before boiling them, but you can leave the skin on if you like and peel them after they have boiled. Now cut the potatoes into chunks. Heat some cold water into a saucepan and add the potato chunks. Boil till tender. For the main ingredients, we will need two tuna chunk cans, one onion, one lemon, five green chilies, one teaspoon turmeric powder, six spice cloves and six black peppercorns. Crush the cloves and black peppercorns in a fine powder using a mortar and pestle and leave it aside for later. Now using a potato masher, mash the boiled potatoes into a smooth paste while they are still warm. In a separate bowl, empty the canned tuna. Make sure to drain the oil or water from the can before adding the mashed potatoes to it. Add 1 teaspoon turmeric powder. Now add the crushed spices. Then add in the finely chopped onion. Now add the cut green chilies. Pour in the squeezed fresh lemon juice some salt to taste. Now let's mix all the ingredients well until incorporated. You can use a spoon or use your hands to get even better results. Keep watching the video. At this moment I would like to know from which country you're watching, to send you a greeting in our next recipe. If you enjoy this recipe then leave us a comment, I love tuna cutlets, to send you a very special greeting. Now in a separate tray pour in some semolina or breadcrumbs, whichever you prefer. Then grab a small amount of the mixture into your hands and shape it into a ball and flatten it. Dip each patty in the semolina or breadcrumbs until well coated, repeat the same process for the remaining patties. You can also dip the patty into a beaten egg mixture and then coat it with the semolina or breadcrumbs if you like. It helps in keeping the patty intact. Heat a pan with enough oil over medium heat. Place 3 to 6 patties at a time and fry, until they turn golden brown. Allow the patties to fry for 5 to 8 minutes on each side. Flip the patties and fry the other side. Make sure to flip them carefully as they can be soft and break easily. So guys, look at how amazing and delicious this looks. I would like you to rate this recipe from 0 to 10 if you liked it. Tell me if this is the first time you have watched my recipes and don't forget to subscribe to my channel The Spice Gasm and activate the bell icon so you can always receive our recipes. If you liked this recipe then make sure to share it with your family and friends. I am sure they will thank you for it. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Bye for now and see you again in my next recipe video.